Hi everyone, welcome to my mommy and baby update for week one. I thought I was going to do, do these two things together because honestly, not really a lot is going on. Um, I can kind of go over um, Brooke's uh, hospital stay and how she's been doing this week and how I've been doing this week and how breastfeeding is going. This is what this update is going to be about. Um, as I mentioned in my labor and delivery update, Brooke was admitted into the NICU because her blood sugar levels were really low so they put her on a glucose IV and she stayed on that for almost 24 hours and then they slowly in those 24 hours built her down and she had some issues uh, keeping her temperature up which is a known symptom of babies that have low blood sugar so she was in a warmth bath which is basically a bed like a water bed and then you can heat up the water for about half a day when they start building it off and on Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening around 9 she was back into a normal bed and they unhooked the IV they did have the needle in just in case she was having a relapse but at Saturday at 11.30 they removed the needle and because her blood sugar levels were okay even after the IV was taken off and on Sunday morning she was allowed to go back to my room and since there was nothing keeping me in the hospital we had to go home so it was nice and on Sunday afternoon we were home and the midwife and the Kanamzor, which is the one that takes, that's the, like the postpartum nurse that comes to your house and takes care of you for like eight days, um, came to our house and um, they checked everything. And their first response to Brooke getting as much um, like amounts of feeding as they did at the PQ, they were like, stop that right away. Because first off, she doesn't need that. Second of all, you don't produce that much. Third of all, it's gonna mess up your breastfeeding. So, because um, basically what they did is they started Brooke on 10 cc's per feeding on Friday, 20 cc's during Saturday during the day, and they upped her to 30 on the Saturday afternoon, and they wanted her to drink 40 on Sunday. And obviously I wasn't making that much because I was just making classroom, and 40 cc's is a lot for a, a baby that's only two days old, so. Obviously she needed that for her sugar levels, but since her sugar levels were all regulated again, neither the midwife or the crowns were felt that was a good thing to do. So we stopped weighing her before and after every feeding and basically stopped um, um, extra feeding her extra or whatever formula, just make you have the breast. And my milk came in on Sunday afternoon, so I wasn't really too worried about that. Um, Brooke's umbilical cords fell off on Wednesday, which is five days after she was born, which is pretty awesome. And basically she's a nursing champ. Like she latches on and she's very, like we call her like a little pit bull because she like, if she like smells it or something, she goes like, <gasps> and then her mouth goes open and she like hushes on and she like digs it really, like, it's like a vacuum. Like <sighs> that's what she does and <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> but um, I'm really happy that she has such a natural latch and everything goes really smoothly with that. Um, other than that, she had a little bit of jaundice, it was a little bit yellow, and they even did a, a jaundice test in the hospital, and it, they said like everything over 300 means you have to come back on Monday, everything over 400 means you have to stay, and her levels were 134, so she was really like, I don't know, she maybe looked a little yellow, but she definitely wasn't jaundice or anything like that. Um, she still has a little bit of jaundice to her, it's probably just because she hasn't really been gaining that much weight, which could be contributed, like it's kind of like a vicious circle with that. Um, and other than that, she's been a really content baby. You don't really hear her cry unless he's hungry or gassy. Um, she has a lot of poopy diapers, like <laughs> a lot of poopy diapers, which is probably because I'm so engorged that she discussed a lot of formula, which is why you know, I didn't send the poop like every feeding, and she does. So we have a lot of poopy diapers. And um, that's basically it for her. I don't really have anything to say. Like She's just a really content baby, a really easy baby, very sweet little girl as for me I did get some stitches from uh, pushing her out and those were pretty annoying and so the midwife checked on me on Wednesday and she said she could um, cut loose like two of them and ever since I have no problem sitting down I had no swelling down there I uh, did bleed a little bit heavy for the first two days and then it kind of subsided to like maybe like the second last day of your period been going on like that ever since. I had a lot of contractions after pushing her out for the first two days, but after that, after the last few days when nursing, I don't even feel it anymore, which is nice because I was kind of getting worried because those things hurt and I don't remember having those with Logan at all. 
and uh, my milk came in on Sunday afternoon, it definitely was in on Monday. I looked like Pamela Anderson with watermelons attached to her, like <laughs> really that bad. With Logan, I was underproducing and it definitely looks like right now I'm overproducing. Um, I'm really, really engorged and it, it makes it really hard for Brooke to latch on. Like as soon as my, I empty my breast a little bit, like I take out like one ounce of breast milk with, uh, by pumping and then latch her on. She nurses like really well, like she latches on perfectly. Um, but because she isn't gaining any weight, like she finally started gaining weight today, like compared to yesterday. And um, that's what we did yesterday. We completely and utterly like pumped till there was nothing coming out anymore. And it turns out that I had three full feedings in my breast. So she couldn't get to, to the hind milk. So basically we did, we gave her one bottle of the hind milk. And ever since that she's been a lot more awake and I'm not as engorged anymore and she can nurse a lot easier. I haven't been pumping before feedings even uh, because she can just latch on perfectly fine. And I want my uh, milk to regulate. The other symptom I've been really experiencing a lot is the baby blues. I did not have that with Logan, but this week I've been, this, some things just set me off. like. Logan uh, not eating properly uh, or Brooke crying during dinner time or just you no know, having too many visitors at once um, where I'm just really overwhelmed. I just started crying. Like I just cry and I don't even know what really why. It's just that, I don't know, I just feel all of a sudden I feel a lot of pressure and then I'm just gonna cry. And that's so unlike me, but that's okay. Um, I've also been drinking placenta smoothies. Rob is my hero, like he completely like, cleaned the placenta, he cut it up in pieces, he's frozen it, and he's even making me smoothies every single day. And um, he makes them really well, like I don't taste anything, it just tastes like fruit smoothies or green smoothies. And I think it's helping a lot because if I have them, then I don't have necessarily like the baby blues that much that day. One of the things that the baby blues did trigger was like, because I spent so little time with Logan the last few days, um, like I didn't see him on Friday, I didn't see him on Saturday, I saw him on Sunday, and he was like, I, he went to daycare Monday and then on Tuesday he was a brat, like he was, I guess he just missed attention and everything was different for him as well, so he was just not himself. And I had a meltdown that afternoon, I was like, not because I didn't love him or anything, but because our relationship changed and because I was spending so much time with Brooke instead of Logan, which is a complete change for both of us. I just cried, like how am I going to do this and how am I going to do this if Rob goes back to work, he can never go back to work because I need him. and. And I just started crying, which, and like after I was done crying, I was like, I'm so irrational, I'm gonna figure it out. And Logan is a very easy child as well as Brooke is, so I'm pretty blessed with that. So, why am I crying over this? I'm gonna figure it out, it's gonna be okay. So, yeah, that's a little bit of the baby blues that I have been experiencing. Um, but I'm pretty sure that as time goes by, it's just my hormones, so yeah. Um, as for breastfeeding, like I mentioned, I was, I was super in course. I was having three feeds uh, ready for Brooke and she only could take like one. And she got a lot of the four milk. Um, it was hard for her to latch on. So what I had been doing, yes, uh, two days ago, starting Wednesday, I uh, pumped a little bit on the breast that she was supposed to have um, till it was soft enough for her to latch on easily and then just make her drink um, that boob until she let go, change the bum and try to get her back on that same boob. We did that for about 24 hours, but yesterday she still didn't gain any weight. So uh, we talked it over and uh, eventually choose to completely, uh, you know, relieve me of my engorgement, see how much I actually had. And I pumped and I had 240 milliliters and she only took 80. So, or she only should need 80 right now. So yeah, she was not getting the high milk. So eventually we gave her from everything I pumped, we gave her the last 80 milliliters and she's been a different baby ever since. Like she's been a lot more alert and it's easier for her to latch onto the breast. I've not been that engorged. I'm still a little bit engorged, but not as much as I was. And um, right now we're just doing block feeds. So um, like in a few, I think like 15 minutes she needs to eat again and she's gonna go onto my right side and she's gonna nurse and then we're gonna change the bump, put it back on my right side. And then the next time she needs to feed, she's going to my left. And this morning she actually gained weight probably because she had the bottle and ever since then she's been nursing pretty much um, very effectively like taking really big gulps and everything like that. So that's going to the right direction but because she's not really gaining as much weight or hasn't really gained anything until today, we did have extra crowns work days. The crowns work usually stays until a baby's a week old so she, today was supposed to be her last day. But um, I told him like, I'm just too scared. Um, Logan was at his birth weight 
for four weeks before uh, we finally figured out what was wrong and that my supply was too low and that the slash was too poor and I just don't want to like drag things on again because looking back at newborn pictures of Logan he looked ill like he looked sick um, because he just wasn't gaining weight and he just wasn't thriving and I just don't want that to happen with Brooke as well and she agrees he didn't really feel too comfortable that Brooke hasn't been gaining that much weight and that she was very um, sleepy yesterday because of the jaundice and because of her not getting uh, a lot of the fatty milk and because we didn't get the bottle until later that afternoon and she was like no you can just have the counter for two more days so she still comes on saturday and sunday for half a day just so she can like see me feed twice and just so we can measure brooke again because it is easter weekend so i can't really like walk into the pediatrician's office and have her being weighed so that's nice because then i have her last weigh-in on sunday just so i can see her like climb a little bit and then on wednesday we have an appointment at the pediatrician's office either way or the actual pediatrician comes here and weighs her and checks on her and everything like that so that's good Oh, I forgot to mention, Brooke also had a hearing test and uh, um, like they do that at like day five or something. They do a hair test to see if her ears are developed enough for her to hear and she passed those, so that's good. As for my weight loss right now, I probably, I didn't really weigh myself the last few days of my pregnancy, but I probably gained like 35 to 40 pounds. And measuring from that point on, like I think I was like 35 pounds, I think, maybe five pounds more, but I'm gonna assume 35 pounds. I lost 21 pounds already, which is amazing. I have, what, 15-ish more pounds to lose until I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight with Brooke, but I kind of want to lose a little bit more, so probably have about 20 pounds to go, maybe a little bit more, um, until I'm back to the pre-pregnancy weight that I was with Logan, which was my absolute perfect weight. And um, I think that's it for everything. I'm going to show you guys my one-week postpartum belly now. So yeah, that's my one-week postpartum belly uh, if you have any questions leave us in the comments down below thumbs up this video if you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel for the senior of brooke there's rob hi rob and see you guys in our next video bye, bye. <laughs>